Hey guys. Yeah, I just thought I'd create a video that shows people and explains if you have an issue with connecting to the, your IP address with your Samsung Galaxy, your new phone, your iPhone, uh, a, a Fire Stick TV, whatever it is, if it's having issues and maybe some other things on your network aren't, there are a few things you can do to resolve this. And there are also videos out there saying, oh yeah, we'll fix it. Just set your static IP address on your phone or your device and then it will connect up. Well, that's that's true. That it, that will work. But that's not really a fix and that can cause other issues down the road. You really want your router handing out the IP addresses, you know, and giving lease times. Now, this may sound confusing, but I'll try and make it simple. The easy way to fix it is there are three things. The first thing is make sure that on your router that you have you have usually the newer routers are dual band or tri band let's stick with the dual band router that's probably the most common you have a 2.4 gigahertz and you have a 5 gigahertz now the difference is well it's it's just a gigahertz obviously it's a frequency difference but you cannot have the SSIDs the same so name one you know your home 2.4 gig Name the other one home 2.5, or I'm sorry, 5 gig. Either way, you just have to make sure the, the, the SSIDs are changed by one letter or number, just one character difference. That will solve a ton of obtaining IP address uh, problems with all your devices, including my new Samsung Galaxy Edge phone, which does the same thing and I couldn't get it connected. Um, the other thing is, I wanted to mention too, some people may have more than one router in their house. They may have an access point. They may have a wireless access point. It's very, very important to make sure that on your access point, even if it's wired, that you use you turn off the DHCP server settings in that router, which I think hopefully everybody knows. The other thing is make sure that you're using different, again, SSIDs. I'll even go a little bit further than the ones that you currently you know have at a different access point or your main router. But even one step further, like the number two thing to do is make sure that your frequency ranges are separated. Meaning, on your first router or your main router, you may use channel 11. You may use channel 161. On your other router, which is your access point, switch those to the opposite ends. Use channel one and use you know high, or a very, very low channel, if that, if that makes sense. They're radios. And if the signals are too close together, they'll cause interference with each other. So keep them separate. The other thing I've noticed too, as you're keeping your SSIDs separate and uh, keeping those the same or keeping those separated, the other key feature in this whole component is is just make sure that you reboot your phone or device. Also, go in and forget. You know, on your phone, forget that network connection and then rescan your Wi Fi, reconnect, enter in your password, and then connect. Don't forget to reboot uh, your device because that will help too. So, hopefully, this helps. If you have any questions, please um, put them down there. I'll try and get back to you. And thanks for listening.